You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I told you, man! I told you! Don't fuck with me! Advertising is both propaganda and propaganda distributor. Advertising is about hawking product and creates artificial needs, since most products are completely unnecessary. Your favorite music. Advertising unashamedly fosters unhappiness with oneself and with one's possessions. In fact, the very purpose of advertising is to open up emotional vulnerabilities and make people feel that without this product, they are defective. You, have, you need to protect your skin, you need to hydrate your skin, you need to moisturize your skin, and you need to repair your skin. Corporations employ psychologists, writers, and filmmakers to sell what is essentially the same product. A certain toothpaste, for instance, claims to have a feeling of freshness. This one claims to have dazzling strips of whitening ability. While this one is for people who claim to have teeth so sensitive that it feels like they've been stung by lightning. One of the tricks of effective advertising is to identify the product with a highly desirable quality that has widespread appeal. If you buy this, you will have clear skin and become attractive to others. Use this product and pretend that you too can be a farmer. Drive this car and appear liberated and adventurous, like these actors. Advertisements are nothing but bait, laid out for certain types of consumers. For up to 14 times more volume. These same methods are used to glorify the corporations who make these products. This is called corporate propaganda. For example, the General Electric Company likes to boast about its imagination at work, which includes money lending and manufacturing equipment for building missiles and other armaments. The truth is that corporations exist only to make money and are even legally compelled to prioritize making profits over competing interests, such as the well-being of consumers. And there is no such thing as enough profit for the capitalist. This is why they promote globalization, the new slogan for empire. It allows them to promote their symbols, also known as brands, by using slave labor in third world countries. These imperial brands are a symbol of value and meaning, like a flag. But their only allegiance is to profit, not country. Their goal? Maximum profit. Their target? Human beings. Turn them into mindless consumers who crave their product and keep buying it, at any cost to their country, fellow citizens, and the environment. And for what? Look at the background of this commercial. This product is for those with money and high social standing, according to the image. This is how the bizarre need to appear superior to friends, fellow workers and neighbors is mercilessly enlarged and exploited. But advertising is not just for adults. Propagandists spend $12 billion per year specifically targeting children to form consumer habits early on. They can ingrain their brand by repeating it over and over until the child is indoctrinated and manipulated beyond control. Norman Feeney, Pepsi drinker for life. 
From the age of seven, the average child has seen 20,000 TV commercials every year. There is only one other group more coveted and groomed by advertisers than any other, pre-teen and teenage girls. The propagandists call this the tween market, but in fact, it is corporate pedophilia. The aim of corporate pedophilia is to make young people feel inferior and defective by using images that are unattainable. And these images are used against consumers for the rest of their lives to keep them feeling inadequate unless they buy their products and stick with their brands. The fashion industry is the same. Wear this, and you might fit in. Look like this, and you will be attractive and popular. Like the people in these gossip magazines. These people are called celebrities. Where do we begin? I mean